All right, today I'm going to show you how to fix the uh, oven that won't light. So as you can see, you turn it on, you hear the gas, but you don't hear it spark. All right, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which knob you turn, it doesn't give you a spark. So this is what happened. Uh, it started where I hear a very weak spark on this side when I turn the knob on this side. So, and then that spark went away, it just give up. So I thought the uh, igniter got dirty. So I lift this up, all right, zoom closer. I, I, I lift this up and uh, I, I check the igniters. These are the two igniters that uh, they have for this particular oven, all right? Some oven, uh, the igniter, is um, you know they have four igniters one for each burner okay this one's only two so when you turn on the knob these igniter will spark up at the same time simultaneously so I thought this might be dirty so I looking at it and uh, they seem pretty clean and so uh, I traced the wire so these two they actually two individual wire Okay, two individual that right underneath here, and it run all the way to the back of the oven where the device that you need to replace is called a spark modulator. Okay. Okay. This particular brand is a fidget air, and the nameplate data okay, move the is located right here. See that? That way you find a model number, and you go online, you Google search for this particular oven. And you're gonna you're gonna look for a spot modulator. So the device it looked like this, right? So basically, this is a replacement part. And the reason I bought it, number one, it's twenty dollars. The cheapest I can find, number two, is brand new. Where the spot modulator from this original oven um, is like forty dollars, thirty six to forty dollars, and most of them are used part and. This oven, I bought it brand new, so it's only three years old, and I was very disappointed that, that this thing go out um, in three years, right? And um, that's about it. All you need is a, um, the tool you need is a nut driver, okay? And look, uh, for me, I got a little fancy ratchet, but you can use the one with the uh, screwdriver uh, handle, right? A quarter inch. So uh, the next thing we want to do is unplug the oven before you work on it because you're dealing with live uh, electricity and you don't want to get shot. Now, after you unplug it, you're going to go on the back and uh, I'm going to show you how to take out the uh, old modulator. All right. Okay, so you got the oven unplugged and you come to the back and the uh, um, spark modulator locate inside here. Okay. And all you need is two screw. Uh, take off two screw with this nut driver. So what I did is I marked them for my reference. That way I put the panel bar, uh, panel back the same way. So I'm gonna take real quickly take off this, this two screw. Okay. Got it. Okay. So uh, what I do is. You know, I always put the screw on a magnetic tray, that way you won't lose anything. Keep everything together, and then you, you notice down here, it's have a little cut for this wire to go through. So remember that. And I have a little hook here that I can hang it on. To hang this plate so it won't put a lot of strain on this wire. Or you can unplug this and put it aside somewhere. But this is the spark modulator right here. All right, and uh, if you if you look at it, you're gonna first you're gonna freak out because the spark modulator is doesn't look right, right? But uh, if you look real, you know this is a replacement part. So if you look real closely, you notice that this wire, which is a rare wire, okay, um, that's the one that go on here, and if you can. If you can see, the rare wire, it have a, a smaller connector 
than the neutral wire. How do I know that? Because it say right there, positive, ground, and neutral. Okay. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but let's, so this one is going right here. All right. The next one is a neutral wire. Okay. Let's go right there because you can't interchange these two. Now the other two wire that these are to go to the igniters, the one up in the, on the stove top, and one go here and one go here because uh, you can interchange these because when when you turn the knob, both of these are gonna get power, so both igniter light up at the same time. So to me, it doesn't matter if this is go to the, on the left side or on the right side. It, it doesn't matter. All right, so you, you just plug it in. And luckily, this replacement part, they make it different size. All right, make sure it's in tightly. That way, uh, otherwise, if it doesn't, if it make the same size, now you got to figure out which one go which, right? So that's how you hook up the wire. To take this off, all you have to do, you see like this tap, this half, similar to the original one, you just put the finger right underneath here. You push it, push it up, and then you pull them out, all right? Let me move my hand out of the way so So here you go, I use my index finger, I push it up, and then I pull them out like that, all right? So I mark it, that way it's go back the same way. Now, you look at it real closely, you can see that originally, this original, um, this original um, spark igniter, it's made for the four burner, individual burner, but they only use two. The other one is just a blank. There's no connector in there. Okay, so you got the power in, and when it happens, it's uh, when you turn on the knob, the power gonna, you know, the, this part gonna make the power go down here, so um, the igniter can spark. All right. So this is a bad part. Uh, it's original, but it's a bad part. And this is a uh, new replacement part. So don't get freaked out when they don't look alike. Just look at it closely, and you can you can put it on uh, just like that. All right. So to put them back, because I mark when I took the old one out, right? Because this also have a slot down here. So I mark it. So when I put them back, same thing, right? I put this one back and on here I just push my finger in and you hear that snap okay that's it and what you want to do next is put the panel back right remember I marked that spot and I have to be careful not to pinch this wire so I line I line this up okay line that up this mark okay after you put this okay so after you plug it in now is the moment of truth right whatever you done back there doesn't matter what you done if it don't if the other don't lie up you fail so let's try it I'm gonna turn this on you see the spark come off at the same time and you turn it off the other one you see even though I turned on on this side, but the spark here is still come on. Now, I'm going to turn this one, which is supposed to be one of these burner. According to this, this is the front one. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. But you pay attention to the spark here. It's going to come on because when this come on, you can see the, the burner light up. But the spark right here, you see it simultaneously. See that? Okay, and then this one. Yeah, both spot on. So that's working. And that's how you fix a problem. Just slide the cover back like so. And there you go. Boom. All right. There you go. It's all working. And that's. Okay, I hope you like this video. Uh, and I hope this video will help you. Um, you know how to replace uh, or you know fix this simple problem like I say it cost me 20 bucks brand new parks and I hope 
hopefully that new spark igniter will last more than two years. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.